Good day, my name is Todd Stanning. Thanks for tuning in for my Sasquatch Sunday video. Wow, this kid, this person that uh, did an independent, we're gonna talk about today about this independent, independent work that's been done on footage that I've filmed. Specifically, this, 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 this guy named Cryptid Seeker went, spent a lot of time, went through a lot of effort to work on my footage. And see, what, what a lot of people don't know and what's very frustrating about this discovery is I've given my footage to CNN, to BBC, to NBC, to the biggest networks in the world. And they look at it and they analyze it and they have experts look at it. And when they can't conclude it's not fake, or that it's when they when they have when they when they look at all the they do all their metering and all these video experts look at it and they see nothing that that nothing other than absolute authenticity top to bottom they won't admit that and that's what's so frustrating how can you get justice without people telling the truth i wanted so many times for the bbc for cnn to go hey guys can't you do something can't you say something and everybody including even all the way into my dna you give people DNA, I've been to universities, you give them DNA and they, they, it comes back as an unknown hominid species that can't be hoaxed and they won't say it, they won't come forward, they won't tell the truth because they can't get their head around, they can't wrap their minds around that Sasquatch exists and that they're real. And that paradigm, that, that elimination of the truth leaves us standing here going, well thanks. You know, the truth is this footage is real. The truth is Sasquatch exists. And and people just refuse to even admit the truth of it. So what this cryptid seeker did is he took my footage, he analyzed the heck out of it, and you're never gonna guess what he came up with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this footage with you. Uh, I'm gonna go through a video that he did with my own commentary, uh, my own addition to it, because there's so much, this is video three stuff, and this is a Sasquatch running faster than the fastest man in the world can run. So I always, even I'll tell you right now, I always, uh, I always assumed, since I was there and I was so shell-shocked by seeing that Sasquatch. I remember after seeing this, this was the second Sasquatch I'd seen in three days. The second Sasquatch I'd filmed in three days. It was incredible. But again, I wasn't alone. It was two other people. And those two other people knew Sasquatch were real. And they had, they had uh, organized this, this plan to go interact with them and get this footage. So it was amazingly successful, mind-blowingly successful. And, uh, and... After I'd seen the Sasquatch, the, the Sasquatch that I saw in video two was obviously absolutely enormous. Like it, 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 it pained me to see how this, this Sasquatch was over nine feet tall. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> to film video three and to see how enormous that Sasquatch was again, for me, I couldn't imagine something being bigger than even Andre the Giant. I was, I was very hesitant to say it was eight feet tall. And my partner was like, man, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That was a well over a nine foot tall Sasquatch moving faster than the fastest man the planet can move after it run over a mile. Just in case you don't know, take the fastest man in the world, run him a mile through dense bush, and then see how fast he is. He's not going to be fast. He's going to be pathetic and slow. Sprinters can't run that great, can't run that fast over long distances. You'll see them there out of breath after running 100 meters. But make them do 2,000 meters, and then, and then see how fast they run after that. And that's what this Sasquatch did in video three. It's such tremendous evidence for all of us to say that Sasquatch exists. So thank you very much for Cryptid Seeker. Let's, uh, let's get to it and let's get into the video right after this. For the past 10 years, I've been conducting expeditions, documenting chronicles, and interviewing people pertaining to the subject of Sasquatch. With over 20 years worth of hardcore backcountry expedition experience into the most remote regions, I've tracked and studied various North American species that have had little to no exposure to civilization. I've been able to see for the first time some complete segments of Todd Standing's filming of Sasquatch, and uh, I am firmly convinced that he has filmed Sasquatches and that he has, what he has portrayed in his documentary are indeed very close portraits, in fact, of the Sasquatch face. 
So here's the video precisely as he filmed it. It says, after studying Todd Stanning's footage numerous times, I've come to the conclusion that it's unhoaxable and without a doubt real. Here's the proof. You're about to see definitive proof that Todd Stanning's running Bigfoot is over nine feet tall. This is my video three. You're seeing Jake from video five in the background. So this is me talking. And uh, on the video that we have, it's four seconds. So from this point right now, I, it's hard to see, but this is 20 feet up at least. So uh, the animal accelerated from a stop in front of here to into the woods up to the top in approximately four seconds. So I'll just get up there. This is where we have our ass shot of the animal. Uh, I'm standing here about six foot three. You can see them. That's not correct. I'm over six foot four, more likely six foot five. I apologize for always being so conservative, but the measurements are imperative at this point. Disappeared into the woods. Before I get to over there, it's important. We did a little test a few minutes ago. And I was trying to eat observation. <laughs> Look at the agility of that Sasquatch. Look how fast it moves. So here's what he's going to do. This is Cryptid Seeker's work. In both pieces of footage, he's going to use the tree and match up the trees for size so we can get a relative size comparison. As he says here, I'll use the tree for scale to line up the photo of the Bigfoot and Todd. Once the tree is seen in both videos, is lined up to be the same size, this will mean that both images are at the same size and therefore accurate. Height comparisons then can be made. Brilliant idea. Because even though the foliage might change, the tree base will not. Obviously, this person is very, very good at using his programs. This is really, this is, this is impressive stuff, guys. He's gonna take a lot of time to make sure everything matches up very, very well because this is extremely important. A video that can prove Sasquatch exists is, 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 is an enormous discovery, is it not? So he's gonna take the time, you'll see him with his red pen here, line everything up precisely. I would have to say, normally things I do, I like to say plus or minus 10%. Based on the accuracy of Cryptid Seeker, there's no way he's out more than this is plus or minus five percent this is very very accurate stuff guys look at the way those trees line up very impressive work i mean that is spot on matched so now he's going to take the time to trace the sasquatch and trace me so as you can see spot on this is very, very bang on accurate. That's what he's doing here. When he gets down into the uh, foliage, it's going to be a little more difficult to match me up. But I've done my own comparison, and I th that is that's my size proportions. So very, very well done matching up those proportions. Now he's going to match up this Sasquatch running up a steep slope at 65 degrees. That's why he looks a little off balance. He's not off balance. He's balancing like a, like a cat with its tail. So a very, very precise tracing here. Very, very good work. Clearly that's not a bear. So he'll copy and paste these two tracings. I'm very grateful for this comparison. <clears throat> and as you can see here, my head doesn't match up to his shoulder. Generally, I'm one third the height of a Sasquatch. And that's what he's seen here. That individual is enormous. A, 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 a man approximately six foot four. And that Sasquatch, easily nine feet tall. But there's a 
an enormous degree of error here that he's going to point out in just a second. Albeit that is impressive. That's an impressive, very, very enormous 900 plus pounds, approximately nine feet tall. As you can see, Todd's standing is tiny compared to the giant creature he filmed. But wait, there's more. He's right. There is a problem with that comparison. Todd's standing is closer to the camera because the hill is at an angle. The higher you climb, the further away you get. His diagram, here's a diagram to show you what I mean. So he's gonna go to this diagram and show how where I am and where the Bigfoot is that he compared to further away makes the Sasquatch look smaller. Closer makes me look bigger. So now let's do it again, but with Todd and the creature at the same position around the top of the hill. So now we can get an extremely accurate, obviously be scared because the Sasquatch is actually bigger than he just discovered. So let him do back to his analysis, matching up the trees accurately. This is one of the glute shots that uh, when I blew it up on a, on a screen, after, he's matching the trees here, but the shot of the Sasquatch, when you blew it up on a screen and played it at its best, at, at its highest definition, you could see glutes, like, I hate to say it, but ass cheeks. We called it the ass shot. So once again, look at the precision in him lining up these trees. So there's the Sasquatch you can see. I know the image is a little blurry, but I mean, that is, that is an organic living being, ladies and gentlemen. And there are no nine foot tall actors. And if it's a nine foot tall actor with stilts on, how is he moving faster than the fastest man in the world? Not possible. So he's going to trace me as accurately as he can. There's my hat. I'm hunching in an odd shape because you, if you watch my mini doc when I'm walking through there and I give it a cutaway shot of the hill, that hill is very, very steep. I've been an athlete my whole life. Very, very athletic, very strong, very agile. I had a great deal of difficulty running up that hill. In fact, you couldn't, this, the hill was so steep and bumpy, it's just not a hill you could run up. And certainly no human being can run up that hill faster than the fastest man in the world. He flew up that hill. And if you watch my mini doc, you see, I did a test when I went over there. That Sasquatch ran up the hill in approximately four seconds. When you go to the top of the hill and you throw a stick down, it takes the stick approximately four seconds to fall to the ground, for goodness sake. So he's moving up the hill versus gravity nearly as fast as gravity, which I know seems hard to believe, but that's the, the amount of power this, these beings have, the agility they have. So there's a very accurate tracing, very, very accurate. Now we're in the same position. So me, approximately six foot four. And this Sasquatch, look at that. I called up an old friend, my old friend who was there the day that we filmed the Sasquatch. And you know what he told me? He said, it's about fricking time. I told you, Todd, how big that Sasquatch was. And I was just in denial. Look at that. Nine foot plus. What, nine four, nine five, maybe ten feet? Definitive evidence and proof. There are no nine foot plus tall actors. And there is no technology that exists in this day and age where an actor can have stilts on and blast up a hill. There's no man that can run up a hill that fast. No man could do it. Fastest man in the world couldn't do it. A ten foot tall, almost ten foot tall did it. Not disputable, it's raw footage, real, no computer graphics. This was filmed. There was no computer graphics. The trees are lined up perfectly. It doesn't matter what frame you use, that creature is so much taller and bigger than me. A n look at what a pipsqueak I look like. That is an absolutely enormous Sasquatch. He's trying to find other pieces to line up here. Excellent, phenomenal work. Guys, you all have to realize Todd's footage is legit. Thank you very much. There, again, there are no actors that tall. This is not possible. It is impossible to have faked this footage. 
I've been saying it for years. I'm still saying it. This is definitive proof it was not an actor. You can't deny what you've seen. This video deep down you know is a fact and the fact beats fiction. Dispute it. I, I, and don't take my word for it. I will come out with you and I will show you a Sasquatch. I've been doing it for over a decade. I did it with Survivor Man. I did it with Jeff Meldrum. I don't know what it's going to take for people to finally believe. Everything I've been saying is absolutely true. I gave this to the media. I worked for species protection. I'm fighting in a court of law to prove this species is real. So spread the truth. Sasquatch is real. Don't believe the false accusations. The footage is real. The Patterson footage is real. The creatures exist. You can start to see my frustration. I've had this video since it's been it's been out in the public since 2005, 2006. I was showing it in theaters. I was I was and and you have to understand too. Way back when I first started playing this footage, everybody just said it's a guy in a suit, it's hoax, it's fake. And anybody who did detailed analysis of it that really looked at the footage just came back silently and gave it back to me and said, "Please leave." Because, or except the kineticist that analyzed it. I had a professional, I had a kineticist analyze the motion of it. And the first thing that he asked for is a professional filmmaker analyzed the footage and guaranteed him it was raw footage, unaltered, not sped up, slowed down, no computer graphics, absolutely raw, real footage. Then the kineticist, when he, when he took the, when the kineticist, the scientist took the footage, this guy moves, he's an expert on teaching athletes how to throw javelins better, to high jump better, to run the 100 meters better. So... He took it and he analyzed it in great detail. And he said, I'll, I'll take that, that footage. And, when he, and he was very skeptical. When he gave it back, he said, wow, Sasquatch is real. And then he told me why and he gave me the numbers and I gave it to the media and I talked to the media about it. Nobody believed me. And here we are. Tens, and thousands, tens of thousands of people have come forward that have seen Sasquatch and people don't believe them. And what is it going to take? When are, the Patterson footage is absolutely real. What's it going to take? So it was wonderful to see this. I'd like to thank Cryptid Seeker very, very much. He's on Facebook. He's on YouTube. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with his work. I hope he continues to analyze and have a hard look at my footage. Because, it, you know, over and over, the more you look at it, the more you analyze it, the more you break it down, the more the truth comes up. That's all I'm interested in is the truth. That's all I've ever been talking about. I'm going to go out and get more stuff this year and take more people out and show more people Sasquatch. If Survivor Man had success, Jeff Meldrum had success, John Bitternagel, I've taken out half a dozen PhDs, dozens and dozens of other people that have eyewitnessed the Sasquatch live in expedition with me. It's like going out with Diane Fossey to see gorillas, not nearly that good, but we're getting live interactions. The, 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 it's moving forward. I am a full-time Sasquatch researcher. Thanks to donations, thanks to the expeditions, thanks to my supporters. You know, so thank you very much, everybody. There'll be another Sasquatch Sunday video, and I'll be live Wednesdays as always. And uh, let's keep moving forward. This 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 footage is is your footage. It's footage for proof of Sasquatch. For all of you that know this species exists, we do this. Cryptid Seeker did this. All the people that volunteer and help me and work, all the work I've put into it. This is this is so the movie Discovering Bigfoot is so we can all acknowledge the existence of the species. That's what it's for. I stand on the shoulders of great men and women. Survivor Man has taught me. Jeff Meldrum has taught me. I've had native people teaching me tracking, all to help this discovery move forward. It's a discovery process. There are hundreds of excellent researchers out there fighting for this discovery, risking their lives, literally, believe me, I know. Because you want to hear a little, a quick story? I'll tell you something. The researcher that was there when I filmed this footage, his name's Trevor. After about a year and a half after having filmed this footage with me, we were rock climbing up to an area in Kananaskis to go, we were doing Sasquatch research. A little bit of debris, some rock fell, smashed him, took out his eye. He almost bled to death trying to get back to, uh, to civilization where he could get medical attention and he lost, like he's unable to see out of an eye. From just, just debris falling, from rock climbing in a dangerous backcountry area, debris fell and hit him in the face, busted up, busted up all his face, damaged his eye, he passed out, I had to carry him. This is the stuff that researchers have to go through to make discoveries. Specifically with Sasquatch, when you do hardcore backcountry expeditions like this, this is what, this is what it takes. You have to risk things. You have to, the money that you spend going out there, taking time off work and, and failing, 
50 times to get one piece of success. It's so much work. It takes that much time and dedication. So on behalf of all the researchers out there, I know there's so many of them. There's so many awesome dudes out there. I see them on Facebook and YouTube all the time fighting to make this discovery. I'd like to say a heartfelt thank you to them. And, and the way I can reward you guys is use the footage that I have. Use, use the, the Discovering Bigfoot movie. Use... You know, even Jeff Meldrum would say his evidence for tracks, it's all there to help us move this discovery forward. It's all we want is the acknowledgement of the species. They exist. They're real. See you Wednesday. Take care.